Okay, we're back. 31 Days of Horror. Today's movie is a horror movie, but also an action movie, which is kind of cool. Uh, I, in, in all the years I've been uploading videos to this channel, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but it's worth repeating. I'm a huge fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger. I think he's just the awesomest. I mean, like, his movies are the best. They're the most entertaining action movies. He's a hugely entertaining star. He's an action god, so his movies are great. And, you know, ultimately... This movie, I think, is worthy of, you know, his brand, his stardom, what have you. I think it's a worthy movie. It, it has some really great moments to it. And, you know, the thing is, I'm a big fan of Schwarzenegger and action movies in general. Big fan of horror movies. So, you know, an action horror movie starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, where can you go wrong, right? Um, well, I mean, I suppose it, you know, depends on certain factors. But I think the movie that we got was... I don't know, a product of its time and Schwarzenegger's part and that part in Schwarzenegger's career, uh, I would say. Because, um, you know, he's fought terrorists, he's fought aliens, robots, all this kind of stuff. Of course, eventually, we have to have Schwarzenegger fight Satan, right? And you can kind of like almost picture maybe if this were in like his major peak, his heyday in like the 80s, you can like imagine maybe like a Tim Curry uh, legend uh, kind of Satan fighting against Schwarzenegger or something like that. That would have been cool. But this is this is a later movie in, in his career. Uh, this is 1999. Uh, this is kind of just off uh, Batman and Robin. So, you know, Schwarzenegger was kind of probably looking at his career and, and wanting to do something uh, a little bit different, like still stay to that signature brand where, you know, we want to go see a movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger is, you know, kicking ass and shooting guns and shouting out one-liners, and it certainly uh, delivers on, on that and, and that persona. Uh, but also, uh, you know, the character that he plays, it's, it, it's a more complex role, I think, than what he has previously done, at least at that point. Um, He's he's a, a depressed character. His uh, family was killed in a, a terrible home invasion, and you know he's obviously a badass cop, but he has you know the dark history. And I I think with the character played in in that kind of way, he gives us something that we haven't quite seen before. So that's pretty cool. And you know he has to have a a different kind of enemy, foe, whatever uh, to to fight in the movie. So I don't know if you were doing this kind of movie at this point in his career. I don't know, like another terrorist leader or another alien monster like the Predator. I don't know. Maybe it just, you know, wasn't something that he was looking for. You know, he, he is a very selective uh, actor. Like, you know, I guess, you know, when you're Arnold Schwarzenegger, they're throwing like a million scripts at you. So I think this kind of goes to show that selectivity. Um, in considering these roles, because uh, th there's a lot that he has to deliver with that brand, so I think he, you know, does uh, does a good job of it here. But uh, in fighting Satan, this new foe, uh, how do you do it, right? Like, so do you do like you know the the cartoon Satan that like everyone's familiar with, like you know, big and muscular with the hoofed feet and big horns or something like that. Uh, probably would just be too cheesy, especially if he wants to you know go for a little bit more of a uh, a mature, more complex role. Uh, so he, here they do what was, I'd say, you know, the, the trend at the time, uh, and it was having a Satan character just to appear as a man, like a slick kind of businessman, you know, like uh, the devil's advocate, uh, three-piece suit, wh whatever. So uh, just as a man. In fact, that's how uh, Gabriel Byrne, he plays the, the devil in the movie, uh, he's just credited as the man. So... Yeah, that's what they're they're going for. Of course, you know later in the movie, uh, I guess I'll say spoilers uh, for, from this point forward. Later in the movie, we have a kind of cool incarnation of uh, the devil in his true form. I guess you could say uh, all CGI, late '90s CGI, which actually it holds up okay. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, I just watched it uh, recently, so I, I'd say it, it, other movies have uh, certainly held up a lot worse. Uh, so gets a pass there, and. Just to, you know, the the tone of this movie is a, a difficult thing to do, and I do have to credit uh, the makers of the film. 
uh, uh, Peter Hyams, uh, the director, and of course, you know, Sch Schwarzenegger, you know, the star, the money behind the movie, the brand behind the movie, uh, you know, he, he uh, gives a really good performance, especially, you know, there's a really great scene, uh, kind of right before the, the final act, uh, where Satan, Gabriel Byrne, he's, he's trying to tempt uh, Schwarzenegger into... I just call him Schwarzenegger. Who cares about the character's name? Uh, no, uh, let me just look that up real quick. Arnold Schwarzenegger plays Jericho, so Detective Jericho, I suppose, uh, in the movie. And uh, the whole plot, it's uh, Satan trying to find this girl, played by Robin Tunney. And Schwarzenegger, Jericho, knows where she is, and he, he wants to get the location, so he's tempting him, trying to get him something that he wants. Of course, what he wants in his heart of hearts this whole time is his family back uh, and there's a great scene where they kind of show uh it's it's sort of like a vision but flashback at the same time of showing this event uh you know the, the home invasion uh and it's a really intense scene and the acting between Byrne and schwarzenegger is is really really good i, I think you know that's a really underrated scene uh in, in the movie and, and just in, in general an underrated uh uh, a scene of, of these two actors uh, so I think they really uh, d deliver good performances and convincing performances uh, and, and again I think it's something that we haven't quite seen before uh, from Arnold Schwarzenegger you know he's he, this wouldn't be the first time he kind of branched out between, aside from you know just the uh, you know, grin at the camera wink at the camera uh, action guy but uh, He's done comedies and things like that, but this is a very serious, dramatic role. And I gotta say, Schwarzenegger, uh, he's he's up to the task for it. Um, and and I think uh, the two play each off, but uh, the two play each, the two play off each other well. Um, and uh, I, I just think uh, it's it's a good movie, and it delivers on the action. And and that's another thing too, because there's a part of me that wishes that this movie just kind of went way overboard and went toward a more campy kind of 80s vibe um you know true to the older schwarzenegger kind of movies um but it, it doesn't quite get there like there's really cool like, like kind of cheesy moments where he's you know machine gunning the fuck out of satan and shooting a fucking rocket launcher at him like really like over the top action stuff but it's still kind of meant to play a, a little bit seriously but if, if this were kind of like an over the top kind of like running man kind of vibe to it uh, i think maybe it could have been i don't know at least more entertaining like don't get me wrong this is an entertaining movie it has good action scenes good uh, scares in the movie and uh, uh, again I think it's it's worthy of the Schwarzenegger brand but uh, you know there's some moments that drag on a little bit it's not a perfect movie uh, its plot is pretty much sewed together from every kind of demonic Satan movie you can think of like there's definitely omen vibes or like angel heart devil's advocate definitely takes inspiration from just about everything in the book and uh, it's it's kind of a cheesy, I don't know, a cliche or just kind of a outdated uh, thing uh, with 1999. That that whole thing, like everyone kind of thought, oh, the year 2000, everything's you know Y2K gonna blow up or, or whatever. And so uh, movies kind of just like you know 2012 or you know whatever. But uh, the whole plot revolves around, oh, well, 1999, upside down. If, if you take away the one, 666, ooh. So it's it's a little cheesy. Um, you know, so you, you, you kind of almost want it to go over the top just because of that. Um, you know, Super Smash Box Office Smash Movie. I'm going to kill Satan. Anyway, I won't do any more uh, short snack. I just had to do that just once um, in, in the video. But, uh, yeah, I, I like the movie, and, and I liked uh, Robin Tunney's performance, too. I mean, she's a great actress. To, uh, Empire Records, awesome in that. And uh, she has good... She carries, you know, the 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 scare portion of the movie. Like, Schwarzenegger, he's like, focused on the action, but she's the other side of the coin of the action-horror combination, uh, where a lot uh, of uh, what we see in the movie, she's being pursued by, you know, these... Uh, uh, agents of Satan, uh, I guess, you know, just appears as like a homeless man, 
comes up to her. No one else can see it. Uh, and you're saying, like, oh, he's coming for you, and things like that, because, I don't know, basically, it's, it's kind of sort of like the devil's advocate, uh, uh, the plot of that, where, you know, uh, Satan has to bring a, a child into the world, and the world's going to end, and this particular girl, played by Robin Tunney, uh, I don't know, was born at the exact right time when the planets aligned, or, or some stupid shit. So, I mean, it's, it's a ridiculous plot. Um, but, you know, I, I think... She, she carries it well as uh, someone who's, like, you know, on edge, being pursued by these demonic people. So, you know, it's it's, it's all right. And, yes, there are some uh, cheesy 90 effects that do come with those uh, uh, demonic uh, uh, appearances. Like, there's one part in the movie where that homeless guy approached her on the bus. His, like, head falls off and, like, shatters like a porcelain doll. And it looks really, really cheesy. Um, so I, I, it doesn't get a pass for that. But uh, I don't know. I think End of Days, this was the Schwarzenegger versus Satan movie that was inevitable. Uh, it's a product of its time. It would have been a completely different movie had it been made at any other time. So maybe it's significant enough that 1999 plays into the plot. Schwarzenegger shows more maturity in his performance, and I, I value that, you know, as someone who grew up watching Schwarzenegger movies, it's, it's nice to see something, I don't know, a little, a little bit more mature, a little bit more complex uh, out of his uh, resume. Uh, so it's definitely worth the Schwarzenegger marathon, definitely worth a 31 Days of Horror marathon, so definitely check out End of Days if you haven't already. That's my review. Thank you very much for watching. We're still doing 31 Days of Horror. Be sure to tune in for the next review. Until next time, I'll see you later and stay scared.